Hello, welcome to another tutorial from me, Slammer423 from rwtrainteam.co.uk. I'm going to give you another uh, tutorial on Railworks 2 Train Simulator, and we're going to lay a new scenario marker, and we're going to use the content filter to activate non-default stock in your scenario. Okay, so we're going to create a new scenario. So what we need to do is uh, go to Okay, so the first thing you'll need to notice is that it says this route is currently locked and cannot be edited. Routes can be unlocked by entering the editor from any scenario on the route and selecting the unlock icon. So we'll need to do this. So we'll need to go back and we'll need to um, go back and play drive by route. Select, uh, let's just use Oxford Paddington as a test, I suppose. Oxford Paddington. Just um, any scenario deal, I'm just going to go for the free run Didcot. Play. Wait for it to load. Okay, so we're now in live play mode. Now, what you need to do is press your escape button and select world editor, or even quicker is press your control and E key, and it takes you directly into the editor mode. You will then see that it's the house icon selected and the track and the uh, scenario editor button are greyed out. This means that the route is locked. So as you can see where the orange triangle for play is just by it is a padlock and it's locked. If you click it once it will come up with a message saying removing the lock will allow access to editing of the scenario based assets. This route could cause scenarios to become unusable blah 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 okay and the route is unlocked. You can then go to scenario editor by pressing the scenario tools button. Do you want to save change to the route? Yes. Editing will lose. Yes, that's all right. And now you are free to move about the route as you please, as you can see, just outside Didcot Parkway. And we're in Didcot Yard here. So you can go anywhere you like. You can use the compass to fly to a location. But make sure you look for the Oxford to Paddington selection on this. So like Oxford, Radley, Cullum, Appleford, Didcot Parkway. I'm going to go down to Reading just to use as a, a to test. So we go down to Reading and click the little icon here. It's now taking me down to Reading as you can see. Just allow the assets to load. Right, now all your assets are loaded, you can now safely lay down a new scenario marker. I'm going to pin all these to the screen here so you can see what I'm doing properly. So, to we're going to make a new scenario. So, click on the scenario icon here and select. I'm going to select a free roam marker because it's easy enough to d explain for this tutorial. Lay down your scenario marker where you think you want it. Click yes. You don't have to sign changes to the current scenario, but you can if you've made any personal changes to this scenario itself. Right, so first things first, you'll need to give your scenario a name, or when you go to play it, you'll be given an error saying no scenario names provided. So let's give this a name of test of assets 
filter. I'm going to delete this later anyway, so I don't care. So, right, test of assets filter. You can now change the time of your scenario. I'm going to change it to 2300. And I'm going to change the weather from clear to hazy, from summer to autumn. And I don't need to worry about that bottom filter. You can also put your start location in there if you want to. It's not necessary. And you can put your your uh, name in there. You can either have your on your internet name on there or your proper name. It depends how you feel uh, if if you want to. So I'm going to put slammer four two three in there. And I'm going to put in there Reading. You don't have to fill these two out. It's not really important, but I'm just showing you that they can be filled out. Like so. So once you've done that, you're going to want to add some assets that aren't default to the root, aren't you? So you want to add your uh, select. Say you want to use the 170. So you want to add that into your scenario. So you'll need to use the object filter. So click on the object filter. And on the right hand side of the screen here, you'll see a fly out. Click on the arrow there and scroll down until you see the name Thompson. Like so. Click on the name and you'll get all the uh, list of assets, everything under that developer name. And at the moment it's the class 170 pack 01. Select the box that's lit. Make sure there's a green tick in it and that's safe. OK, so you can then scroll, click on your loco engines and tenders icon. Scroll down until you see the class 170. As you can see, I'm going to use one of my reskins as a test, obviously. I'm going to provide my own reskins. So, right, so I'm going to use the. Put it just there. And I'm going to just quickly have a look. And then that's like that. I'm going to make this a free, a two coach like that. And I'm going to add a driver. So you need to add a driver to this. And you'll click on this driver icon here. And click on the part of whatever engine side the uh, part of the engine you want. So you can either click on the front or the rear. Depends what way you want to go. It doesn't matter anyway. So I'm going to put it on the front of the train here. Once you've done that, you can double click the driver icon. And you can change its name from service 1 to something like 1XB. Oh, what, sorry, I got that wrong. 1x45. Just a test like that. And you can change it to its a head code or you can change it to L, CL170LX. It's whatever you want to name it. It doesn't matter. You don't have to even name it. You can just have it as service one if you want it. But it has to have a name. Uh, you can change. You don't need to worry about this priority in uh, this mode because it's a free roam so priority doesn't matter because there's no other moving trains in this scenario with you and then once you're happy click the play yes save changes and Bob's your uncle I know it's 11 p.m. and it's still quite light out there but uh, rail, the rail simulator.com team are working on a new lighting for the sim and that's hopefully going to be sorted out next year there's some exciting developments going on for them obviously I've forgotten to tell you about changing of the um, names of the 170 but that will wait for a different scenario and then once once you're in your scenario click on the train it will then make that's the player train and you'll have control of it and you'll see this at the bottom, you can always get rid of that by pressing the F4 button. I didn't get it back up again by pressing F4 again. And that is how you edit a scenario. And that's how you create a new scenario and add content that is not default to the route.